Hi, Dan Halsey here with United Designers, and I am going to take you through the process of using our polyculture plant calculator that's on the United Designers uh, folder for calculators and spreadsheets, um, and show you a little bit about how we use it to count up our plants to make it easier once we have a lot of plants going. Um, this is what it looks like originally, you, what you'll download and what you'll be using is a blank calculator um, just so we're, it's, it's, we have a template for doing this. The first column is where you will cut and paste your plant list. Plant names, common names, species names, whatever you want to do, you could add another column if you want both on there. So if your plants listed here, the second column, column B, is uh, your design identifiers. Either you're using numbers onto the, onto the design or you are using uh, the initials to identify the plants. So you keep track of what those are, especially when you're looking at the symbols in Illustrator, usually they have their initials in those symbols or the numbers, and that makes it make, helps you make sure what your count is and what you're working with. This column C is actually filled in for you. So as you fill out this spreadsheet, uh, the numbers will keep tabulating and totaling up in this column. So how this works is each one of these two column pairs is a polyculture. The single polyculture, which is in this case a dwarf apple. Total quantity is five. So I have five dwarf apples, um, dwarf apple polycultures, and therefore I have five apple trees. Because I'm using it five times, five times one is five, right? Um, in this case, we have five polycultures. Each of those have two. This just say either lead plant or they have Baptisia australis, uh, wild blue indigo. And so two times five is 10, and so we get 10. So this is constantly uh, adding those up. We also have 12 daffodils in each one of these five polycultures, which gives us 60 daffodils. So that's told here too. But as you can see over in this other polyculture, we're also using daffodils. We have two of those polycultures, and so we have 24 added to the 60, which makes 84. So this first column keeps adding up all the plants that you're adding in from all these polycultures because you're going down your list and you're going down each polyculture and basically filling in the numbers for each one of those polycultures with each plant, what you have. The green column is totaling them up for you based on how many times you've used that polyculture in the, in the design. Now what you can also do uh, is put single plants on here. So if you change one of the polyculture ID names up here to just single plants and put a one and you had say 70 strawberries and if you put 70 here 70 would show up there and then strawberries would just be here but it would still be added in with the rest of these so you might have a column here where you have plants that are not part of a polyculture and as long as you put a one up there in the total quality then you'll get a, an accurate count so to see how that works uh, we'll go to this uh, other spreadsheet here and this is uh, having it in action so right now you can see here are all the common names for the plants in this forest garden. This uh, forest garden is actually 100 feet by 35 feet. Here's all the trees which basically coordinate to the polycultures that we have. I have all the shrubs first, then the trees, the perennials, and down at the bottom uh, there's uh, uh, strawberries and actually ground nuts that you can't see down there. Just uh, show you that a little bit. Um, and it totals up all those plants. So looking at this again, lead plant, we used it uh, on three polycultures here. Um, that should say apple. Um, and so three times two is six. We have six, but we also used it over here. We have six in the, because uh, we used it twice for the pear, four of them with the cherries. We have eight, and that brings us up to 20. So when we go to order plants, this column right here should be the column that tells us all the plants that I need to have uh, in my entire design, how many were used. And like I said, you might have a column over here that's uh, single plants, and you would just put a one up in total quantity, and as many as you put in here, it's just going to calculate over here and, and total them up for you. So, oh, actually right here, single plant column, here's a number one how many we actually add in, and basically they are added to the list of things that we need to get. So the easiest thing to do is to take the um, 
that previous spreadsheet, the calculator, and either paste it to the left of your spreadsheet of your plant list, and then cut and paste all the columns of the plant species you're using over onto this side, and now you have it all in one document. And that makes it pretty slick, and you're only using one spreadsheet for all your plants, the information, soil pH, things like that, their size. Or you can have a separate one, which would be your price calculator, or in this case, just calculating all the plants up off of your design. I usually just add this to the left of my plant list from the Natural Capital Plant Database. Uh, I have all the plants at the top of the list that I'm using. And then start to count up my plants out of my design and adding them here to make sure that I have uh, everything accounted for. The trickiest one are single plants. That can get away from you if you're dragging and dropping different plants into your design and uh, not keeping track. But as we go through the symbols and we counted up symbols in that other video in the video library, it's pretty easy to count them up using the symbol library and then taking those numbers and putting them on here. Your polycultures, of course, if you're using Adobe Illustrator, they are already a symbol themselves. So each polyculture is one symbol and you know how many plants are in that. So you only have to put this in once and then you just change that total quantity each time you use it. So uh, the other thing I want to show you about that, let's see if I can get this, uh, this open here. Here we go. Um, is I expand that quite a bit when we are doing our calculations. So um, we have a calculations for a lead plant and the cost of our plants here. So we're now, even though we're having just the plants calculated and counted, now I could put my cost for each one of these plants and then the multiplication out of my net cost for each one of these plants, the total cost, and then at the bottom, I would have a calculation for the total. I also have a column for the source of these plants. So you can see this is where you're getting to implementation and you're getting really organized, right, um, of how that's working. So I have my source here. Uh, initials for the company, the greenhouse, the nursery I'm getting them from, basically what I'm going to spend, and that's giving me my cost total down at the bottom. So that's the calculator spreadsheet um, in a nutshell. It does get complicated. Just keep track of where you're working and what you're working with. As long as you have all your plants in here and you just put your number of polycultures in and you make sure that that blue column, this one should be blue, has the right number in it for that, Basically, these numbers will all be very correct. And by the way, when you're doing some of these and you're out in a nursery and buying plants, there will be other things, yarrow, uh, some sage, chicory, other things. You'll be out there and seeing some things on sale, perennials, picking those up too. And those will kind of fill in other spaces that you might have. So that's the polyculture cal uh, plant calculator. Hope that helps you out in using it. Uh, Try it and practice with some of your polycultures, get your numbers, and then you can also use this at your nurseries to figure out your costs for implementation. And by the way, that is your plant cost is really what you're finding out for these based upon the charges that you're paying for these plants as they go in. Talk to you next time. This is Dan Halsey with United Designers, and we'll be showing more of our tools that we have in uh, the Dropbox folder for all of our subscribers and our partner designers, and hope to see you on Skype soon. Take care.